Hi Moglets! Today we're going to be summoning for uh, Yaimiko. I'm laughing because I'm streaming right now and doing my normal intro. It's always so awkward. Yeah, I mean, I guess there's nothing to it but to do it. Yeah, let's check history real quick while we're waiting. There she is. So lovely. We also got Toma. Uh, already got him to C6 very painstakingly, but whatever. Also Fischl and Diona, both C6 as well. Overall, pretty solid banner. I know lots of people want Fischl. Uh, and then the weapon, of course. Kagura's Verity, probably butchered that to all hell, but I think this has crit damage. Yes, crit damage. Finally, a crit damage catalyst. That's Pog. Happy about a happy about a strong looking catalyst. Finally, like I know we have um, Widsith, but eh, it's a four star. Still works in a lot of cases, but it's always nice to have the option of of a five star too. Imagine using catalyst on Kokomi. That might, yeah, you know, could definitely try that. Uh, I, I did build a crit Kokomi at one point, uh, obviously kind of meme, but we are starting with 200 intertwined fates here. I know uh, that's not necessary to turn them into intertwined fates, but I think that's funnier somehow. Uh, we're most likely near beginning of, yep, there's Ganyu. We were going for a, a Ganyu constellation. We're at eight out of 90 pity. I'll have the pity counter up there for the highlights. Obviously can't do that right now. First three tin pulls, I guess we're gonna go ahead and get started. Let me look at the prediction real quick. It's 50-50. <laughs> I guess I did the prediction before I showed the history though. Three tin pulls, starting with the first one here. Let's go. It is a purple. I've heard a lot of people getting her super early. I mean, I guess that's probably just coincidence and also loud minority. The ones that get her super early are like, yo, I got her in one pull. That's not the experience of most people, I suppose. We got a Favonius Greatsword. Let's go. I mean, I guess we could more or less skip the four stars. I'm not really going for. No need to right now. No need to in general because they're all C6. If it's not five star, I guess we'll go ahead and skip. Let's skip. Did get a Toma. That's about it though. The last 10 pull of this three set. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Also a purple. All right. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Guess we're at uh, 38 of out of pity now. That was unfortunately a no. Next three 10 pulls. Let's go. Come on, it's a purple. Very sad. Let's go ahead and skip, I suppose. Another Toma, very similar to one of the last pulls. That's the way it'd be sometimes. So, must be at 40 now. Let's go ahead and continue. Ta-da! It's a purple. But, oh my god. Look at that. What the heck is this? One Favonia sword. These are really depressing pulls. I think that was the second of three. Here's the third of three. It must be. No, it wasn't. We we did get a double Diona, which is kind of cool, I guess. You know, tin masterless there. Three more. We will guaranteed be getting a five star now. However, uh, we could lose 50-50. And yeah, we'll be starting here in one second. I would like, I would definitely like the weapon as well. Um, I mean, I, I guess mostly for yeah, Miko, but also I guess it could be used for someone else. We definitely want that, so just gonna hope we get we we at least win 50-50 if we have to go down straight to pity. What is the prediction looking like? 73% yes. So uh, they believe in the 50-50. I've lost basically every 50-50 <laughs> for a long time now, I think, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, at least if we lose 50-50, it's to my C6 Kaching finally. First of three. Okay, slightly early, slightly early. I think we're at 78 total now. Starting with official here. Good sign, good sign. Official is Electro. Yaimiko is Electro. Could be. Boom. Oh, uh, God. Which one is it going to be? It's not this one. It's not the next one. I can tell we, we, within one frame because I know everyone's outlined by now. And if it's an outline that confuses me, I think it, it, it's the right character. <laughs> But let's just keep going here. Flute. Ravenbow. Come on. Where is it? Cool steel. Thrilling Tales. Ah, it could be anyone. Black Tassel. Cool steel. Oh my god, it's really teasing me. That, there it is. No, wait, yes. Okay. That, well, it was just a circle. You know, lots of characters have these big backgrounds, so that, that was definitely confusing. Like, like could have been a... Not a Zhongli, I was thinking Zhongli, but there she is. We won 50-50. Hell yeah, let's go. Um, I don't know why I was so concerned about, because <laughs> I just said that I, I, I would understand uh, their outline, but I didn't really in this case, because it was just a circle. Um, there she is. Like I said, we won 50-50. Very poggers. 
Uh, we are now going to be trying for her weapon. Very nice. Fischl came in clutch with the good omen. I always used to call her Yay, so that's probably uh, going to be a bad habit. Yay Miko. Very cool. And now I would like to go for Kagura's whatever. Epitomized path. Got to make sure we do that. Chart course. All good. All good. Let's check history quick here as well. Oh, geez. We're literally at zero. Uh, Calamity Queller. Kind of scary, but you know, easy to keep track at least. <laughs> Come home, Kagura's Verity. Doesn't have the same ring to it as when you're saying that to a character, but yeah. <laughs> R2 Jade Cutter. Um, yeah, I mean, whatever. I would prefer just getting the weapon, not another Primordial Jade Cutter. We're going to go ahead and do these first three tin pulls. We have 130. Primos, so maybe. Uh, I mean, 130 fates and like 8,000 primos, so we have a good chance here, I think. Again, I think for weapons, we could more or less skip when it's going to be a four star. It's, it's even less exciting than uh, characters. All right, well, that was the first one anyway. Nothing really to speak of there. Here we go. Oh my god, wow. Early five stars don't usually happen to me, like ever. Especially not recently. I've been having so bad luck. But here we go. Weapons, I do seem to have a little better luck on, and uh, here it shows. Uh, are we going to get it instantly? That's the question. What's the prediction say? I'm curious. 85% say no. 15% say yes. Those 15% will get a nice little payoff here, maybe. Uh, maybe. I have a feeling it's not, though. Usually when I get a super early 5-star, it's, it's not the epitomized path one, but... I'm not giving up hope yet. What? Oh, yeah. It has a very distinct outline. Uh, I'll know instantly, I guess. It could be any one of these now. Sharpshooter's Oath. Ravenbow. Nope. <laughs> well, <laughs> there. someone called it out in chat that I'm going to get Primordial Jade Cutter. And there it is. It looks darker here than I remember. But I digress. Hey, maybe double five star? Maybe double five star? It's happened on weapons before. It can happen again. Nope. So we're going to unfortunately... Well, I mean, I'm still counting my blessings. That is one out of two. And then the third one, you know, for the pity stuff, epitomized path. So, you know, that's good. I'll take it. But all right. Um, bittersweet. Bittersweet. Very early, but it wasn't the weapon we're going for. I'm curious now. What is, what is my Jade Cutter? Uh, oh, yeah. It's only R1. Someone actually cursed me. Now I'm going to get another one. Because <laughs> they were like, C2? Oh, well, no. Actually, it is C2 now. Yeah, because it starts at C1. Not not technically C, but R. Whatever. What do we get? HP increased by 25%. 1.5% of the... Yeah, whatever. It's fine, I guess. It's a, it's a refine rank up. Not the most impressive refine rank up. What? Oh. <laughs> Are you guys mad that I refined the uh, Jade Cutter? Oh god, what? I didn't put the 90 into the 20, did I? Please don't tell me I did that. No, so that's just how I am. The only weapon I would probably keep a duplicate of is Staff of Homa. Um, everything else I would just refine. Staff of Homa, I would really like one for my Zhongli, but I have enough decent swords. <laughs> that's just how I am. I don't, I don't want duplicates. I know it's not the smartest ever, but eh, it's just a game. That's how I play. Uh, did I start? Yes, I think I did start. Okay, yeah. But 87% say no this time, which is fair. Anyway, first three tin pulls. Let's get this started. Uh, first is a purple. We're going to go ahead and skip if possible. Hey, we got a Ningong, which is cool, I guess. I think, I'm, I, think I only really need Yunjins at the moment. Or, yeah, but I think these characters or the, like, the... Kaya and the Lisa and whatnot don't appear here anyway, so couldn't really get those. Second of three tin pulls. Let's go. Okay, just if I get another Jade Cutter, I'll keep it for you guys specifically, okay? But yeah, I don't... <laughs> just so you guys don't freak out. Or I'll, I don't know, com combine it off stream so I don't cause some heart attacks. That was the second of three, I believe. Nothing interesting there. Let's go ahead. Next is again nothing that's the way the cookie crumbles so that was unfortunately a no most people said no predicted it correctly anyway 
Uh, predictions more or less over. Let's go ahead and go for these next three tin pulls. First one is... Yeah, I guess we ran out of luck already. We won the 50-50, and we got a super early weapon. I mean, if we get it in the next two tin pulls, I would still, I would still say lucky. But, you know, weapon pity is only 80, so we're going to be already at 6... Oh, wait, no. We're less than 60 now because we got the Jade Cutter, like, on, I think, first or second pull. Uh, so... I'm not sure where we are anymore, um, but yeah, this would have actually been still pretty early. Unfortunately, nothing there. But yeah, let us continue. Pretty much no le uh, no time left on the timer. We should be getting a five star. There it is. Uh, but is it primordial? I'm, that's not what I meant. Is it Kagura? Come on, Kagura. We're going to go through these. Ah, yes, there it is. Definitely. Easily identified shadow. Poggers, there it is. Um, hey, we didn't have to go all the way down to Epitomized Path again. That's very nice. Double five star? Could still be a double five star. Let's give it a look. Uh, there's a four star. And nothing. I can't say nothing. We got the five star we were going for. So there's that. Usually, what I like to do before I wrap up stream, these little summon streams, is take a look at the character with their weapon, look at the spoils of our wailing. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised she doesn't even hold it. But I guess that's kind of true for most catalysts. Maybe not books. Yeah, she just has everything levitating. Is that I don't use catalyst users like ever. Yeah, most of them just have them floating there. What about Klee? Or anyone else, actually? Diona's not a Catalyst user. Yeah, they all just float. I never even noticed that. Good to know, I suppose. Mona as well. Why does no one just hold the damn books? You would think it would take, like, less energy or something. At least the books. Like, the orbs I can understand. It'd be kind of awkward just to hold an orb. But, like, books, you know, it seems natural just to hold them. Anyway, that's enough of that. Don't know how I didn't realize they are all just floating. <laughs> Whatever. Here it is on uh, Yai Miko, anyway. Looks nice. I would have figured it'd be slightly pinker rather than purple, because her whole color scheme is more pink and red. I guess she is an Electro, though, so there's that. Design-wise, she probably should have been a Pyro, though. There is one other thing we can do. Test run, I suppose, just to get a little idea about how she works. Let's just go in and see what we can do. That's less rapid than I thought it was. That's like a uh, Hu Tao sprint. Uh, she has no held E as far as I remember. Nope, that does the same thing. And then I think when she does her burst, they all explode. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna go leave me alone. Let me kill you. What are her basic attacks like? Oh, very, very unique. Charge attack. Whoa. Her charge attack is pretty insane. I mean, Catalyst charge attacks usually are, because they cost so much damn stamina. Ooh. That was... that was pretty crazy. Huh. I think I'm gonna like her playstyle. I was mostly pulling for her design, and just because I'm a collector, but I think I'm actually going to like that. I usually don't have that much of a thing for Catalyst users in general, but... She might be an exception. Oh, points. Right. Sorry. Anyway, that'll do it. See you guys. Bye.